Hey and welcome back. Today I wanted to uh, make a brief video to show you how to make a uh, OS X Mountain Lion 10.8 uh, USB key installer. Uh, and, and this is a, a situation where you can take a USB key, put the whole uh, installation package on it, all the files you need to install the new operating system, and take it from computer to computer if you work in a in an IT type environment, or even if you have a bunch of different computers at home that you need to upgrade. I'm going to go to the Mac App Store, and I'm going to click on Mountain Lion here, and I'm going to start my Mountain Lion download. And we'll pay our money here. All right, and the download has begun. You can see that here in Launchpad. And uh, now we can go to the Purchases section of uh, our Mac App Store, and, and uh, we can see the download occurring there. Uh, so we're waiting on that download and uh, the, the trick here is that before we actually proceed with the installation of OS X Mountain Lion on this computer, we'll want to copy out the installation files. And I'm going to cheat a little bit um, for the sake of brevity and skip to the end of the download, and, and we'll show you that process in a second. Good news, our download is complete, and I've had a little bit of coffee. So we're, we're all set here. Uh, we have our window here uh, to install OS X Mountain Lion, and what we're going to actually do is close that. Uh, we're not going to use that right uh, right now. I also have a USB key plugged in. You need an, at least an 8 gig uh, USB key to do this. I, I have a 16 because that's what I had lying around, but uh, at least an 8 gig USB key. So we're going to open our Finder, and we're going to go to Applications and scroll down to the Eyes. Uh, install OS X Mountain Lion and, and what we're going to actually do is right click on this file right click on the install OS X Mountain Lion file uh, and this is actually um, a little bit deceiving looking because it's actually a package behind the scenes so we're going to show the package contents we're going to click on this contents folder and go to shared support and in shared support you'll actually find the uh, disk image there of OS X Mountain Lion we're going to right click on this and we'll copy. I like to copy it to the desktop. Um, just kind of my thing. Uh, you can leave it there if you want, but I, li I like having a separate copy of this file. And while that's copying, we're going to open um, our disk utility program. So we can go go uh, utilities and then wait for that and uh, find this disk utility here. The, the easier way to do it is actually just to type it in and spotlight disk utility enter copies almost done here and great okay I'm gonna remove this and start from scratch here what, what we can do though at this point is we'll take this install ESD uh, disk image file I'll actually drag it into the empty space here so now we have a little uh, shortcut to that. And we want this Restore tab. What this is going to do is allow us to take this disk image and, and restore it, or copy it back over onto a USB key. So for our destination, again, uh, the USB key is right here. Uh, I'm going to grab this USB key partition, and I'm going to uh, copy that, or drag that right over to the destination field. And then my source, again, will be the install ESD disk image. So install ESD as our source, USB key. Now um, I'm going to press restore. Let me zoom in a little bit. This is just telling me that it's going to totally erase all the contents of our USB key. Um, so don't have any important files on the USB key that you want to use for this. Uh, also remember uh, to do the the partition here. Don't do the higher level, um, the the actual uh, physical name of your USB key. Do the do the item under it. it. Doesn't have to be named USB key for you. It could be named, you know, whatever the default is or whatever you've named it. I just did that for uh, kind of ease of demonstration there. So we're gonna click erase, and I'll enter 
it'll ask us for our uh, username and password for the system. And now we'll see that um, it is doing this copying blocks operation. And that'll take a little time, uh, but what it's doing is taking all the contents of this disk image and putting them on our USB key. So now we'll have the full OS X mountain lion installer available to us uh, on this key. Uh, so we can go to another computer and we can do uh, the install without having to, to re-download the operating system every time, which is really handy. Uh, this will take a little time, so we'll jump to the end here. All right, so our image has finished. It's all copied over to the USB key. We can actually see it right here. Uh, you'll see that our USB key has changed names. So now, instead of being called USB key, it's uh, Mac OS X install ESD. And there's a little drive mounted here. And if we double click on that, <coughs> it's going to pull open a folder. And there's install OS X Mountain Lion. Let's double click on that. That should pull open our installer window, uh, just like we saw before when we were installing from the Mac App Store. Um, let's see, the final size. Uh, 4.38 gigs um, on the disk there so very reasonable but it is again larger than a 4 gig USB key so anyhow uh, that's the trick there Let me zoom back out uh, the main thing to remember is just that you need to um, pull it out of the applications there and again applications install OS 10 Mountain Lion and we either right click, control click, or we can even go up here, show package contents and the little gear, contents, shared support, uh, and then install esd.gmg. That's our image file. Hope that helps uh, get, getting you started creating your own uh, OS 10 Mountain Lion USB flash drive. Thanks.